Here's some fun mushrooms for you today. So these should be Claveradelphus americanus. And there's a lot of little mushrooms that might kind of look the, look like them. Uh, look exactly like them, rather. Another one is Claveradelphus pistillaris. And then you should have Claveradelphus truncatus. So I'm in Minnesota, and these, because they're growing with oaks, I pick these uh, with bur oak, um, right by where I pick Hen of the Woods and Chanterelles. Uh, it's September right now. These should be Americanus, because Americanus is an oak associate, and the Pistillaris should be a beech associate, as far as the tree partnerships go. Uh, the Claveradelphus truncatus, which, again, these are all supposed to look really similar. I have only picked these that you see. The truncatus supposedly has a really sweet flavor, and David Aurora says you can use it for dessert. I'd be pretty interested to try that, but I haven't. The other thing that you might hear about these is people say, oh, they're really, really bitter, they're inedible, don't eat them. Uh, these, I have never really tasted anything but kind of really mild mushroom flavor. I think they're really, really cool looking. I mean, that's just a great looking mushroom. Super cool, natural form, and I eat them. They're totally fine. They're not going to blow you out of the water with a crazy depth of flavor, but they're not bad. Uh, like I said, I haven't tasted any bitterness in any of these that I've picked. Uh, all of them have been right around in a couple patches in the Twin Cities Metro in Minnesota. But with these, I mean, just like any other mushroom, you want them to be nice and firm. I usually give the stem a slice. And you can see that's totally clean. These seem to have a really good resistance to bugs. I rarely find them buggy. Uh, but when they're old, when you don't want to pick them, they might get a little soft. They might get a little kind of spongy. So these are still nice and firm. And they'll be great to eat. I'm going to fry them up. And when I cook them, I'm usually going to cook them whole. Because... If you just chop them all up, like with a lot of mu other mushrooms, especially with chanterelles, you're going to lose that cool, natural formation. And we kind of have a tendency to want to chop things, chop mushrooms up. I don't really know where it comes from, but I really like to kind of keep the shape of things. So, yeah, Claveradelphus americanus. Not bitter, not crazy tasting, just kind of a nice, mild mushroom.